Like humans, horses get two sets of teeth in their lifetime. Normally a horse will have a full set of baby teeth by the age of nine months. These teeth will start to be replaced around the age of two and a half years. By the age of five, most horses will have their full complement of permanent teeth. Veterinarians recommend that your horse's teeth be examined at least once a year. This applies whether or not there are any manifested signs of dental problems. Certainly, proper dental care in your horse is very important. Um, it, it's, what they, it's what they use every single day to chew their feet, and, and um, without proper dentition, um, they're unable to chew their feet properly, and that can, that can cause some problems. One of the things it can lead to is choke. So they're not able to, to chew their feed to an appropriate fiber length uh, in order to swallow. Another reason for proper dental care is obviously if we let things go too long, uh, simple things can happen where we get ulcers or cankers inside the mouth and that just causes general discomfort and pain. Um, and we like, to, we like to have our animals not have to suffer. Um, poor dentition can lead to uh, abscessation of teeth, um, which again is, is, a, is an infectious process that uh, causes ill thrift or, or detriment to the horse. Wolf teeth are small baby teeth that commonly erupt in the upper jaw. Many horses require the extraction of wolf teeth. This is a common procedure, though not all wolf teeth are troublesome. Veterinarians routinely remove these teeth from horses of riding age to prevent pain or interference from a bit. In more serious cases, problems may arise with overgrown, abscessed, or infected teeth. Professional dental care for your horse may involve routine floating. First thing we'll do is to sedate the horse just so that a little more relaxed in what we're doing. And then we'll give her just a little bit of time to settle before we um, put in the stocks for floating. We're just going to put on our dental halter. It uh, allows us a little bit more room to move when we put the dental speculum in their mouth. Uh, it gives us a bit more free range of motion. It also allows us to hang their head a little bit more comfortably um, than just a regular halter. Just try to open their mouth and get the speculum into there. We want to rinse the mouth very well so that we have uh, no, no feed material in there. It makes it easier to assess uh, what kind of uh, dental disease we possibly have going on. You know, one of the things that, um, about bringing your horse have its teeth floaters, it also gives us an opportunity to possibly assess them for other things that, may, that the owner may or may not be aware of. You know, we, get, we can get a good idea of body condition. Um, obviously, we're working around the head and we can at the same time observe eyes, ears, um, uh, lymph nodes, you know, other parts that the old horse owner might not notice, but um, because we, we deal with it every day, um, we might be able to point something out that the owner might not have noticed otherwise. So, it, you know, it's nice to be able to, on a yearly uh, basis at least, have a, have a look at the horse for that reason. It, it, uh, it gives us a chance to uh, assess the horse's entire health, not just the teeth. So, now that I've done that, you know, I'm able to, as I said, ascertain uh, what we have going on in there. Um, and uh, at this point in time, uh, after visually, uh, you know, looking in the mouth, we can we can start uh, we can start our, our dental float. You do that simply for the animal to get accustomed to the sound. as you don't want to build up too much heat um, during the grinding process and so that's why we continuously move the tool around in the mouth. Um, I guess the other, the other thing now, what I'm floating is the back part of the teeth, the, the 11s on the upper arcade. 
it's a difficult place to get to with some tools. So, you know, the float that I have here now is a thinner profile float made specifically to get back there. Now that we're done that, we want to check the side to side or the lateral excursion on the mouth. Uh, it kind of gives us an idea of uh, how well balanced the mouth is. Um, by doing this um, uh, and visually, again, examining the mouth, I uh, can't stress that enough, we're able to uh, have an idea that the mouth is, is well balanced, that, that the chewing capability is still present, and that um, um, they, they, you know, they can go and continue on uh, eating properly after we finished our float and we're done. While Dr. Buss has completed a routine prophylactic treatment on this horse, dental care is often much more complicated. Diagnostic procedures such as blood tests and radiographs may be necessary to determine the extent of dental disease or to ensure that other health problems are not complicating the situation for your horse. Corrective procedures commonly involve painkillers, local anesthetics, and even general anesthesia. In addition to floating, your horse may require more extreme care, such as tooth extraction or even major surgical procedures. After dental care, your horse may require a course of antibiotics if there was evidence of infection in the mouth. Your horse may also need painkillers. The age of a horse can have a profound impact on the degree and frequency of dental care required. Horses aged two to five years old may require more frequent dental exams than older horses. There are many rewards for undertaking proper equine dental care. Your horse will be healthier and more comfortable, will utilize feed more efficiently, may perform better, and may even live longer. By working together with your registered veterinarian, your horse can enjoy improved dental health. Remember, we all deserve a healthy smile, even our best friends.